Aurora, He-Man's twin sister and defender of the Crystal Castle. This is Spirit, my beloved steed. Fabulous secrets were revealed to me the day I held aloft my sword and said, for the honor of Grayskull! A few others share this secret. Among them are Light Hope, Madam Raz, and Cowl. Together, we and my friends of the Great Rebellion strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Horda! <laughs> Better change quick. Uh, I think a bush is just the thing. Will you look at that crowd? Thamor's Harvest Festival gets bigger every year. Wow, a perfect audience for yours truly. Storyteller extraordinary. <laughs> and there's the perfect lunch. Or don't master storytellers live on what we commoners do? Cowl, we live on the admiration of the crowd and freshly baked rolls. All right, you two. Go ahead. Have a good time. Just keep your eyes open for Hordax people. No problem. I can smell a Hordes person a mile away. Whoa! It's that rebel Adora. Wait till I tell Hordak. But first, I better follow and see what she's up to. Fresh rolls, muffins, breads, hot as the sun and light as a feather. It's Bo, the storyteller. Tell us a, a story, story Bo. Please, Bo. Well, I'd be happy to. I hope Bo makes it a short story. Long ago, Etheria was ruled by a great king whose name was Jared. As a young prince, he walked our planet and listened to the secrets of the Whispering Woods. He learned wisdom and magic. Oh, magic! Looks like Bo has found his best audience. I want to hear the story. I want to hear it, too. Let's see. Uh, I think I'll become a water pump. The good prince taught the singing river how to sing and was the first to hear the growling sea roar during a storm. <laughs> he was Etheria's first marksman with a bow. <laughs> well, why don't you show us what a marksman does? Show us, Bo. All right. Hang on, Spirit. Lunch coming up. Did he say lunch? That's what he said. Money for the apple. More. Come yes, Bo. Finish the story. King Jared was a great man. He gave us a thirst for knowledge and a very special gift for anyone brave enough to find it. The fabulous crown of knowledge. It was hidden deep inside an ancient fortress, behind stone walls and locked doors. The crown will give whoever wears it the power of absolute wisdom. Some say that the crown still waits in the mists, hidden away for anyone who can brave the tests and find it. But no one knows where. <laughs> Almost no one. Uh-oh. 
Now it's Cowl's turn to be the center of attention. <clears throat> well, now, I've studied the story quite closely, you know, and it's my considered opinion that the crown is almost definitely in the kingdom of Dark Edge. Could the crown give me power? Most certainly. It would give you great wisdom, and wisdom is the greatest power. Aha! Uh -huh. But there's more to it than that. Close your eyes and imagine riddles to be solved, great dangers to be faced for those who would seek the crown. Greatest power of all. I'll bet I could find that crown. If I had that bird to help me. Then I could be someone important. A king! King Marcus. That sure sounds good. Better than Marcus the Baker's son. Come on, Bo. Another story, please, Bo. Now to get that bird. But first, I have to cause a commotion. Just what I need. A loose co watch to distract them. Another story. Another story. Please, Bo. Patience, patience. One at a time. I've plenty of tales for all, and for all, a tale to tell. Bo, look out! <laughs> after you lead me to the crown. Uh-oh. Exercise for now. Yay! Yay! Hey, Cowl, don't Shira and I make a great team? Cowl? What's wrong, Bo? Cowl's gone. It's not like Cowl to just fly off without telling someone. Uh, pardon me. Have you seen my son, Marcus? He's a small lad, black hair and a blue tunic. Yes. I saw him standing near Cowl, soaking up every word of my story. Marcus is always talking about wanting to to be like the hero of a story, a powerful knight or a king. Like King Jared? Oh, <laughs> yeah, especially King Jared. He's my son's hero. Marcus always talks about the crown, says he's going to find it someday, and, and then I won't have to work anymore. So Marcus thought the legend of the crown was true? And Cowell said he knew where it was. So if Marcus wanted to search for the crown, of course. How? Cowell. Cowell said the crown was in Dark Edge. And Dark Edge means trouble. Horde trouble. We'd better find them. Fast. Uh, Bo, Shira, please, let me come with you. Of course, we understand. Come along. We'll find them together. Hmm. Crown of knowledge! Better tell Hordak in fast! Shira! <laughs> No, a search could be such hard work. <laughs> well, don't expect sympathy from me, stuffing me in a bag, tramping around a dangerous place like Dark Edge. Why are you doing this? Everybody respected King Jared because because he had that crown. Nobody respected the baker's son. I'm always too slow, too young. Ugh, you think they'll respect you for stealing the crown, Marcus? Or stealing me? Keeping me tied up? No, I don't. I can't force you to help me, Cal. It wouldn't be right. But I've just got to find out if that legend is true. Here now, you're free. Oh, well, I suppose I really can't leave you alone. But I am rather curious myself now that you mention it. And wait, look! The castle of King Jared, there it is! Oh, well, what are we waiting for? Let's find out if you truly have the makings of a hero. 
magic spells. My arrows aren't much help against magic. What do we do? If we can just open this. If you wish to enter, answer me this. Short people, tall people, do I see? Just how long should your legs be? <sighs> long enough to reach the ground. What's happening? Shira answered the riddle. She's inside. And the magic of Castle Jared is too strong. My mirror cannot see inside. There is a way. But it will take all my powers. Then do it. Now. The Cape of Night will force Marcus to obey your commands. And the Gem of Sight. So we can see everything. They will serve us well. I am pleased. <laughs> Shira! Sure glad you answered that riddle, Lord. We'd be sleeping like swift wind and arrow. Hmm, they'll wake up in a few hours. Meanwhile, let's find Marcus and Powell. Now what happens? The legends say that the castle tests your greatest fears. You must prove worthy of the crown before it can be yours. I'm worthy. Nothing scares me. Well, almost nothing. Whoa! Get it away from me! Shoot! What a neat cake! I must be lucky! What was that thing? Who knew? That's a glow bug. Perfectly harmless creature. Well, I guess I scared it off. Glad I found this cape. Well, that is a remarkable cape. More remarkable than you think, Cowl. Which way? <laughs> I'm not sure. This is your test. You want the crown, so you choose. Would it be cheating if you told me? Which way, Shadow Weaver? Oh, the magic is strongest. 
behind the door on the right. Then encourage the cape to go that way. The cape, it's pulling me to the right. We'll try that door. in the floor. Now they're both trapped. Are you two going to practice swimming or help me save Cowl and Marcus? Yeah. Ooh, look, there it is. How about that? I was right, and I didn't even know it. The crown of knowledge. And it's all mine. Oh, oh, wait, Marcus, let it be. Don't go any closer. What do you seek? The crown. Wisdom. No. You seek power. Power without responsibility. Strength not won by your effort. But I freed Cal. I passed the test. You have yet to face your greatest fear. For today, Marcus, you must win me on your own. Have to do it on my own? But I am! Oh, no! Oh, my, I'm being held here, Marcus. Must be magic. No! I can't stop myself! The cape's pulling me forward! I rule Etheria! You are mine! I am not for you, Bordak! I am a spirit of freedom for Etheria! The Horde rules now, but freedom will prevail! That I promise you! Never! The Horde will triumph! The Horde will go the way of all who try to enslave others. Back to your fright zone. Someday, you will meet your defeat. For defeat is what you truly fear. If I can't have you, then no one will. Shadow Weaver, your magic. Marcus, look out! Please, She-Ra, save my son! Too far to jump. Even for you, She-Ra. she, -Ra. she -Ra. If you miss, it's a long drop. <laughs> You're being tested. What is it you really fear? Failing. Because so many depend on me. Help! <laughs> well, the only real failure is not to try. Don't move, Marcus. I'll be right with you. You're incredible. You knew the crown wouldn't let you fall. <laughs> well, let's just say I was sure hoping it wouldn't. Thanks, Shira. I think I'll content myself with being the best baker in all of Etheria. Next to my father. Being a hero is too dangerous. Marcus, you came seeking wisdom. Yes, and I guess I found it. As for you, Shira, you've earned the right to wear the crown of King Jared. All knowledge, all wisdom, 
is yours. Gifted King Jared, I'm honored. But I can't wear you. You don't belong just to me. You belong to all of Ethereum's people, as a sign of our hope for the return of freedom. Well spoken, but nevertheless, you shall have a crown. But... Take this as a remembrance of the crown of knowledge. Thank you. I shall treasure this. Search in the books you choose to read. Searching to learn new things is one of 